Four, top of the stairs. Mm. Give one to my buddy here. Thank you. Hide your faces. My name's Buck Booty. I'm wild and I'm woolly and I'm full of fleas. And I've never been curried above the knees. <laughs> You look like under that feed sack, honey. It's my sister, sir. I get lost, plowboy. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't think my sister appreciates your attentions. <laughs> well, I'll be, I just may have to cut this rooster's comb for him. <laughs> now, sir, I, I suggest you control your temper. Leave mine, it's on the end.
seen him. He took off that way, on a horse. Oh. Ah. Do you did? Big one, ain't he? Yeah. He took a chance using that knife. Why didn't you just shoot him? I couldn't have. Some of them fellas got on the hills not half a mile from here. Shell would have fetched him. We best move. Me and my sister got a good hide hole ways well, up the creek. All right, you're gonna have to give me a hand, cause I'm put an arm around my shoulder. Come on. Must be paid. Oh. 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 What kind of hell brew is that? Call it Mew. Yeah. Second one goes a little easier. Where are you two from? Cumberland County, state of Kentucky. It's a long way from home. I'm going to have me another little look around. Well, uh, are you from around these parts? No, I live about 20 miles from here. Oh. It might be you ever heard of folks named Lankrees. Lankrees? No, ma'am. Well, he had they was in California. They friends of yours? <laughs> well, I should say they ain't. We're Bufords. Well, Lankrees and Buford, well, they just don't get along. Oh, I see. Uh, would you pass me the thimble in there, please? <laughs> I got to look for this thimble in here, yeah, ma'am? it's right in there. Where's that? In the patch. Here you go. What do they call you when you come to supper? Johnny. What do they call you? Callie. My brother there's Chad. Come out here looking for lion crease. And when we find him, when we find him, I can tell you there's going to be real trouble. Just kill. 
got him with a knife. Lucky. No, he ain't lucky. Dying soft and easy from a rattler. That would have been lucky for him. If you don't like this Lankry family, how come uh, you and your brother come all this way looking for him? Chad's gonna kill him. Kill him? <laughs> Let's Nick kill him first. But I don't know about that. Chad's mighty clever in the brush. Take a pretty smart Lankry to fetch him out. Well, why is Chad gonna kill him? The Lankrys, that's why. Well, I, I know, but I mean, uh, well, what'd they do to you? Well, they didn't do nothing to me and Chad, if that's what you mean, but... Well, see, old devil... Answer Lankry. Well, he killed my pa, see, and... and then he got ambuscaded by Cousin Rance Ambu Buford. What? Ambuscaded. Ambushed. Yeah, ambuscaded. Well, then, Cousin Rance ran up with the twins, <laughs> Dolph and Gus Lankery, and... <laughs> well, I guess they just didn't leave them the way they found them. <laughs> then they went off to war between the states. Never did come back. Anyway, we heard what was left of the Lankery family who westward, and we come looking. They're coming this way. find me another rattlesnake. Skin him, maybe. Well, come on, what are you waiting for? Well, we kept right on going. Yeah, I don't reckon they'll be coming back this way. Hey, Kelly, Kelly, you got a mind to. You might cook up a bait of hot grub. I'll fetch some wood. I'll get it for you. Would you like? Well, I don't know. Needs some exercise anyway. Well, now, you don't make much fuss about doing women's work. Everything's different out here. I guess some things stay the same wherever you be. So what do you mean by that, Chad Buford? Nothing. Nothing at all. He's a nice looking fella, ain't he? How would I know? Oh, uh, I guess I ain't seen you peeling your eyes at him when he wasn't looking. No such thing. Well, I guess no fish ever been caught without bait, and I reckon no rabbits ever been caught without anybody going after it. I guess I will fetch some water. Why don't you do that? Maybe you think you better come with me. No, maybe I think I better not.
Ma, but you, you surely picked up a lot of wood in a hurry. Oh, uh, oh well, I was, I was just coming down to fetch some water. Where's Chad? Oh, he's just sitting up there picking at that old guitar. It seems to me like uh, he could fetch the water for you. <laughs> Lord, no. That is women's work. Unless, of course, some special fella just offered to help out. Well, I better get the fire started. I don't reckon there are any snakes down by the water, do you? I'm, uh, well, I am mortal scared of snakes. Here, uh, I'll get it for you. That's mighty kind of you. You know, I, I ain't scared when a, a man's around. Uh -huh. Oh, my. That water sure does look cool and refreshing. Promise you won't look now. What are you doing? Just you don't peek. might ruin your faith, if you have any, in my moral fiber, but, uh, well, I've seen girls' legs before. Oh? Well, what kind of girls? All kinds of girls. Well, I ain't one of them kind. <laughs> Tops are wearing smoke in the land where I come from. And that blue haze stays to this day from the guns of 21. Mountain grow blue, valley run red, which woman stares. Mountain stay blue. Stay red till the last of the feuding kin lies dead. Which woman said? You reckon it's gonna be like that, Kelly? I don't know, Chad. It's what old Granny Buford predicted 50 years ago. Everybody said she had second sight. I just wish it didn't have to be that way. Wishes don't count. Mountains stay blue, valley stay red. Till the last of the feuding kin lies dead. Which woman said? It's Lancer. I'm a Moro Coyo. Well, now, ain't that accommodating? Now we know which way they figure on heading. Take that. I want to bury it with them. <laughs> See Mesa Ridge, about 15 miles from the ranch from there. Are you angry with me? What makes you think I'd have any reason to be angry with you? Well, I didn't know. Well, now you do. Well, it's clear as far as I can tell. Come on. My, this country 
It's almost like home. Most of it's straight up and straight down. Of course, before my pa got killed, we farmed flatland. Forty acres of it along Lonesome Branch. We was landed people. Our house had two rooms and a law for us, us young'uns to sleep in. <laughs> Most folks around wondered what every man could want with such a big place. But my pa was a man who liked to spread himself. And none of your dirt floors. No, indeed. We had a good punching floor in our house. My pa, he was a proud man. My ma, oh, she had a store bought dress for church going. Oh, I think my dearest wish is to have me a store bought dress one day. Maybe after I get married. Charlie, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Well, I guess I know that. Well, stop chattering, will you? Well, what's talking got to do with your sore leg? I don't know, but it seems to go right through me. Well, I, I don't want you thinking that us Bufords are, are, are trash. I never thought that once. And I reckon it's important for a man to know a body's quality. Why? Well, if you... If you don't know, I... I ain't the one to tell you. I'm gonna get some yarbs for his leg. Though I doubt that he'll appreciate it. Callie, will you listen to me? Callie! laughing about. What's wrong with her? I didn't know there's anything wrong with Kelly. You mean you didn't know there's anything wrong with Kelly? It's your sister. <laughs> she just likes you, that's all. She thinks you're about the prettiest thing in pants she's ever seen. about it, I better listen. I think uh, you and I should have an understanding. Oh, I've been aching all over just waiting to hear you say that. Just a minute. I'm going to talk to you. This ain't the time for talking, Mr. Lance. Oh, Kelly, will you listen to me? I'm listening. <laughs> Couple shots, get the mule off. Stay down. How you figure him, Johnny? Well, they'll probably pin us here till sun up. And then rush us. But we can get away under darkness. Chad, I want you and Kelly to get out of here. I'll keep them busy. What are you gonna do? The ranch is about 12 miles from here. You get there, you send back help. Uh, it's too far to go. Get there and back in time. Figure me and Kelly can get away, we can all make it. Look, it's open country from here on. With this leg, I'll hold you up. That gang will pick us off in the open like sitting ducks. It's up to you, Kelly. I'm gonna stay here with you, Johnny. Chad. No sense arguing about it. I already made up my mind. 
Chad's stubborn as Aaron Mule and his mind's made up. There's a road up here about 100 yards, Callie. Stay on it. Head due east. Takes you right to the ranch. You know what to tell them when you get there. We'll keep them covered while you get clear. Stay down. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Lancer, I need help. Johnny's in trouble. And my brother. Where are they? About 12 miles west of here, off the well, road. Never mind. You can tell me later. Jelly, uh, Johnny's in trouble. You look after her. I'm going to round up the men. Oh, uh. Oh, well. You're trembling like a plucked chicken. Come on in by the fire and I'll get you a cup of coffee. Just sit right down there, ma'am, and I'll be right back. the nose in your face. Was it, uh... Was it ever... spelled... different? Well, I heard they once spelled the back end of it the other way around, but I couldn't be sure. Like... Cree? Uh, no, Lancer. Like Johnny Lancer. Uh, well, you come right on now, ma'am. Here's your coffee. Johnny. Nine Cree. See anything, Chad? No. Brown stay blue. Chad, where's that from? Granny Buford. Oh. Oh, Granny, you know, I had a spell back in 21. Lankreese killed old great Uncle Chad Buford. She predicted war going on for 50 years. Somebody made a song out of it. What started this feud? Oh. How'd I know? Well, you must have some idea why you want to kill him. Who says I want to kill him? <laughs> Wait a minute now. Callie's telling me one thing, and now you're telling me another. What do you want with him? I just have to go after him, that's all. Yeah, I guess there are some things about me you don't understand, and, uh... Some things about you don't make good sense to me. Yeah. Oh, all boils down to one thing. That is, I like you. I like you too, Chad. <laughs> we never shook hands yet. You got a strong grip. <laughs> yeah. Looks like a good spot down there. Yeah. 
going to be coming up. I don't know how she got the idea. All of a sudden, I'm on my way to the preacher. You must have given that girl some kind of encouragement, Brother Johnny. I was polite to her. That's all. Just polite, Scott. Well, somewhere along the line, she got the idea you intended marriage. So you better straighten it out with her. Yeah, well, that's good advice, Murdoch. You mind telling me how? Well, you'll think of something. Thanks, brother. Well, this is a room to remember. I ain't never seen anything like it before. Carpets. We even got carpets on the floors upstairs. You feel like uh, taking a walk around the place? Yeah, sure. Just well get out of here. I might break, smudge something up.
Now, don't you tell me that all them cows belong to you, too. Well, to the ranch. Hey, old man. We ain't got two cows and a mule about to be mighty rich back home. <laughs> Chad, I gotta talk to you about cow. You know, I never seen that girl so happy before. Johnny, her hottie is singing pure love. That's exactly what I want to talk to you about. Well, what's to talk about? Well, I figure you're her brother and... Now, now, look, I, I ain't gonna be no hindrance to you. I, I just bite along real nice-like till you and Kelly get hitched and then uh, we move along. We're not gonna get hitched. She turn you down? No, look, it was all a mistake. I mean, I tried to tell you that up in the hills. I'm not in love with Callie. Hey, you fetch wood for her. I was only being helpful, that's all. If a man does a woman's chores for her, go back in Cumberland, mean he's got a mighty shot at that Cumberland. girl. Not Cumberland. It's California. No, I... I reckon it's not Cumberland, eh? I reckon you've done the right thing and all, telling me straight like this. Well, I thought I'd tell you before I told Cal. Best let me take care of that. <laughs> we can stay friends, I guess, huh? Sure, Chad. Callie, be move along. What do you want to move along for? I mean, uh, we got a little house. Right here on the ranch, you and Callie can fix it up. It'd be perfect for you. Hey, you know us boobers don't take no charity. Charity by foot. You work for your wages. It's like yeah. everybody else. Well, yeah, let me tell you something. Look, I, I can take me an old hog and butcher him up. I can make some brushes out of his bristles. I can smoke up some ham, some bacon. Uh, I make me an old steel, make some corn whiskey, but I will be danged by Billy Joe. I know nothing about ranching. I'll teach you. Besides, I got a job to finish I came up here from Kentucky for. The Lankries? The Lankries. One way or another, that feuding's gonna die this year. It's either gonna be with me or the last of them. Johnny told you that? Yeah, it was all a mistake, Callie. He was just being nice to you, that's all. Nice? Nice to me? Well, well, I suppose he was just being nice to me that night in the hills. What do you mean? Well, now, what do you think I mean? The night I was gathering yobs, he come to me. He talked sweet and soft. And he touched me. And maybe you don't remember how long we was out there. Just him and, and me and that sweet smelling night. betray you? Now, did he? Kelly, look at me. I guess he was no more than I could expect from his kind. Now, what about his kind? It's all here in the book. With the Burthens and Deaths and Marions. They're spelling it different. This is a Langcree house, Chad. Johnny's a Langcree. They are all Langcrees. 
And you gotta kill them. You gotta kill them all. Chad and Callie down for breakfast? Yeah, they should be coming Murdoch? back. They're gone. Everything they had is missing. Johnny, let them go. I can't, Murdoch. <laughs> I'm Chad Buford, Buford to Kentucky. There's blood and more between your family and mine. I say we settle this business in a fair fight. What are you trying to say? You question my right to call you out. It's written down in this here Bible. I'll wait for you at the woods near the crossroads. Josephus Buford killed on this day, January 8, 1859, by the hand of Ants Lancer. L-A-N-C-R-E. C-R-E? Well, what's that got to do with us? Our name was originally spelled that way. Then our branch started spelling it L-A-N-C-E-R. Lancre. I suppose the Hill people came to pronounce it that way. I don't care how you pronounce it. Still not our feud. It's our feud, whether we like it or not. Well, suppose we just ignore the whole thing. Chad will kill us off, one by one, from ambush. Where do you think you're going? After Chad. Now, wait a minute, brother. What makes you think he won't leave you dead out there on the ground? Nothing. I just know I got a better chance than either one of you. <laughs>
to stop the fight. I lied about you, Johnny. Just don't talk, Kelly. Chad, let's get the doctor. No, no, no. No, he just won't help. Chad, I lied to you. I lied about Johnny and other things. Chad, now you listen, you listen to me. Oh, Chad. You ain't a Buford. She you not Kelly. No, no. It's the truth. You are my own sister Anne's boy. And she ran off with you. She ran off with a land creep. Carrie. And then Dad. Oh, raised you like his own. That's the truth, Chad. That's the truth. You ain't a Buford. You're a land creep. Just like him. Golly. Seems like I just don't know where I belong anymore. You belong with us, Chad. That's right, son. Lance is your name, Lance is your home. 